Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying estimating. So what is estimating or doing an estimation? It is when you use rounded numbers to calculate whatever you need to calculate. It's that simple. For example, if I have here 1607 and 1528, I can estimate the answer by using rounded numbers. So let me round this number to the nearest 100. It becomes 1600. And this one also is rounded down, so we get 1500. And then I add these and I get 3100. This is my estimate. And now let's also calculate exactly. That means that we take these exact numbers here without any rounding and we add. And just normally. Okay, 7 plus 8 is 15. And then 3, 11, 3. 3135. And this answer is close to our estimate. Okay, so that is good. That is one reason why we estimate is to check that the exact calculation hasn't gone wrong. The other reason for estimating would be if you're in a store, for example, and you don't have a calculator, you cannot calculate exactly, then you can use rounding numbers to estimate. Let's try another one, a subtraction. Again, I would do the same thing, just round these numbers to the nearest hundred. This one, 7,000, okay, and there's five tens, so it's rounded up to 7,900. This one, 30, 31 here, means we round it down, like that. And now I will subtract the 7,900, so 7 minus 5 here would be 2,000, then 900 minus 200. 700. And now I will also calculate exactly, taking these numbers, 7,854, 5,231. Okay, 3, 2, 6, 2. Again, you can see that the estimate is quite close to the actual real answer. Let's try one more. There's some more work to do here. We have a subtraction and addition, both. So we will start with the subtraction, because if you have subtractions and additions, many of them, you start working from left to right. But the estimate first. This one is rounded to 5,100, right? And this one is rounded up to the next whole hundred. And this last one is also rounded up. Okay. Here, when I calculate mentally, I can think, for example, I can think of 51 minus 25. Okay. That's 26. Or 2,600. And then add to that 1,100. So we get 3,700. And now let's see how it goes when we calculate exactly. First, a subtraction. Okay, 2 minus 7, here I need to regroup. And then 0 minus 6, again, same thing, need to regroup. And 0 minus 4, one more time. And 4 minus 2 is 2. And then I add that number. I'm just going to write it right here under it. Like that. And then add 5 plus 8. 13. And here's 12. 7. And 3. Okay. Yes, it is close to the estimation. So looks like all should be well and I got the right answer. Now lastly, you get to be... A teacher detective, so to speak. This is what teachers often have to do. Here's one student's work, student number 17. But there's something wrong here, you know? And even the student could have spotted it because the estimate here is very far 
from his or her answer. You see, 2,400 something and 1,400. Something's wrong. Maybe the estimation is wrong. Maybe this is wrong. Can you find out? Be a detective. Let's start checking it here with the estimation. 4,005. Okay, the rounding is correct. Rounding to the nearest 100. This one is also rounded correctly. And then subtracting. Yeah, so I would say this is correct here, this far. So it must be that the error is here in the subtraction. And we have 5 minus 8. Okay. Well, you do not regroup that way, right? This looks kind of shady here, what is happening here with the regrouping. So that's why it went wrong. So let's redo it. 4,005. 2,628. Matthew wants to come to it. Okay. Yeah, the regrouping can be tricky when you have lots of zeros. So it's no wonder sometimes students get it wrong. Okay, 5 minus 8. You cannot do that, so you have to go regroup. Yep, that's how we need to start. 3,000 and then 10 here. Yep. Okay, now Matthew got it right, I think. Whenever you are regrouping and you have all these zeros here, you have to regroup with zeros, you will get these strings of nines and tens like that. So 15 minus 8, and 3, and 1. Okay, now all looks well. You can see 1,377 is close to the student's estimation. So everything looks just fine. And as a last check, since this was a subtraction problem, you can add this and this and check if you get 4,005 from the addition and that would be the final check. Okay, well done with this lesson.